Hello, my name is Sophie Hill, and today I will be presenting to you the app Anchor and why it should be used in the classroom. So, what is Anchor? Essentially, Anchor is an app for podcasters, and you do not need to be a professional podcaster to use the app. It can be used by people who are just starting out with podcasting, or you can be a seasoned pro. Um, it works for everyone. This app is 100% free, and it allows users to publish and distribute their podcasts everywhere. And by everywhere, I mean platforms such as Google Play, Apple Music, Spotify, etc. It will publish your podcast for free to all of those places to be listened to by the world. Using Anchor, you can podcast with people or with groups from anywhere around the world at any time. So, with this, you are actually able to co-host a podcast, which means that you and a friend can be recording a podcast at the same time uh, using the app, but you could be in different places and the two recordings will sync up and create a podcast, which is very cool. And no additional recording equipment is necessary when using this app. So unlike this little guy we have right here, you do not need to use headphones or a fancy microphone. You can do all of your recording right from your device or choose to upload recordings that you want to add as well. So to continue, if you've gotten this far and you're still not sure what podcasting is, let me explain it better to you. Podcasting is essentially an audio narrative. It is a way to share a story or news or any type of information, all using audio. So with Anchor, you can record bits of audio using your device and then edit them directly in the app. You can choose to add other elements that you want to add to your recording project, such as sound effects or music, or other pre-recorded tracks. It's up to you. And using the app, people who listen to your podcast can actually record re audio recordings in response to your posts, which then you can add and incorporate into your next episode. Um, you can use them as feedback. Lots of ways to be interactive using this app. So why should we use it in the classroom? To start off, podcasting and using Anchor can help kids get started with this different form of multimedia that they may not be accustomed to. This app is very interactive and it can give students a chance to work together in a new way. Podcasting is also a great alternative to writing a report or creating a visual poster, which are two projects that we're pretty used to doing in the classroom. So I believe that podcasting is. Uh, a great new thing to add to those types of projects that will kind of circulate with our students. Podcasting and audio recording also can help students find their voice and feel more comfortable with speaking out loud. Um, public speaking and speaking out loud for a lot of students can be a very, very difficult task. Um, with podcasting and recording your own voice, you could definitely become better at those skills, gain that confidence, which is something very important to help students do early on. And lastly, this app is great for projects, responding to different assignments and responding to each other's work, and also interview-based activities and more because it's so easy to be creative with this type of app. So what are my personal thoughts on Anchor? Well, I love podcasts. I love listening to them. I think they're very informative and a great way to get information. Um, I also think that it's a great skill to be able to form opinions out loud, and podcasting can definitely help with that, like I've mentioned before. I also believe that the interactive component of the app is very great. It can make for some really productive group work, exercises, and projects that the kids could work on together. The app is good for both students and teachers, meaning that teachers can post podcasts that the students can respond to and work together to respond to. The student can form prompts for the students to work on and record their opinions based on the prompt. And the teachers can respond also to the work that the students have done on the app. The functionality of the app would allow for students to easily upload, 
upload their work to share with their classmates and their teachers. And also it can get other people involved. Their family members can see what they're working on in school, etc. I believe using Anchor in the Classroom would be a great addition to introducing students to multimedia um, because we've definitely done that in other ways using other electronic devices, but I think that podcasting and audio narrative is not what some teachers initially would think of when it comes to multimedia, so I believe that that's a great way to introduce that kind of thing. So what are some Anchor highlights? First off, it's super easy to use. It's very simple to record your voice into the app and also very easy to edit once you're in the app and add other things. It's also very easy to send it out and share it. So overall, just very simple usage. Like I've mentioned before, it's great for group work and for classmate interaction. It's a great app to use for sharing your thoughts and opinions as podcasting allows you to do that. And it could all be done on one device, and you can do it from anywhere, meaning you could take it from the classroom to home, and all of those things can be done. It's great. I didn't have as many pitfalls just because I do think that the app is a great idea, but a few things I did think of is that if you are having all of your students record their podcasts in the classroom at one time, it could get a little noisy, it could be a little loud, and end up... um, and it could end up that the students' podcasts are hard to understand because there's so much background noise. The second thing I have here is starred because it was an initial pitfall that I thought of. Be- because when you're working with students, you may not want all of that content to be published out into the world and onto the internet. However, with some further research, I did discover that it is a setting that can be changed once you're in the app. It does not need to be released to all of those platforms I've mentioned before. So it's actually not a pitfall after all. And lastly, the editing tools are not very refined. What this means is that if you're looking for a crisper audio sound and you want something a little more professional, this may not be the app for you. However, I do think that what would be necessary in the classroom would definitely be covered by what this app has to offer. So now, after you've viewed my presentation, I want to know what you think. What do you think about podcasting in the classroom? And do you agree or disagree with my personal opinions about podcasting and with the app itself? And so we all know before there was television, there was radio. That's how people would get all of their information and all of their news. And now with the popularity of podcasts on the rise, how do you think audio narrative can be better or worse as opposed to audio visual narrative for learning? Can this be related to the classroom and how we as educators teach our students to spread information and tell stories. And lastly, based on this presentation and all that it taught you about the app Anchor, do you think it's a good option for a podcasting app to be used in the classroom? I believe that podcasting is an important thing to add to the classroom structure, but is there a better audio recording app or tool that could provide a better experience for the students? I want to know. So thank you so much for viewing my presentation. I hope that you feel informed.